Here's the tree diagram that we saw before for a conjunction. And you could follow along any path in the tree diagram, say P is true and Q is false, and that would tell you that P and Q is false. So this is one way of displaying all of the information in a conjunction, but it turns out there's a simpler way, and it's called a truth table. So here's how a truth table works. We make a little table that has P, Q, and then P and Q. And we're gonna look at all the possible truth values that we could get. So I'm gonna basically go in the same order that I have this uh, tree diagram. So I'm gonna look at P is true and Q is true first. And that will be the first row in my table here. So if I put true and true down here in the table, I'm gonna use the letter T to represent true. What would go here? Well, we would look up here. We would say when P is true and Q is true, P and Q is true. So we put a T there. And then I could look at when P is true and Q is false. So that would be when I'm on the tree diagram, when I'm here, P is true and Q is false. So that tells me P and Q is false. And if you look at the tree diagram, we see that um, for any other combination of P and Q, everything's going to be false. The only time it's true is this first row here when both P and Q are true. So if P is false and Q is true, we know that P and Q should be false. And when they're both false, P and Q is false. So this truth table is a nice way of summarizing the information that's contained in the tree diagram. And it's a lot more concise, it's much easier to draw. And we can do this also for disjunctions. So here is the tree diagram for a disjunction. So again, I'm gonna make a truth table, start out with P and Q, and then I'm gonna have P or Q. And again, I'll just follow along with the tree diagram. So when P is true and Q is true, that would be right along the top. When P is true, Q is true, P or Q is true. So I would put a T there for true. And you can see that we're gonna get true for every situation except for when both P and Q are false. When P and Q are both false, P or Q is false. So this is the tree or the uh, truth table for the disjunction. Now let's look at negation. This one's pretty simple. If you have P and then we have not P, we know that it just switches the truth value. True becomes false and false becomes true. And here once again are the truth tables for the conjunction and disjunction. And we'll see later on that truth tables can be used to evaluate the truth values of more complicated expressions. In general, truth tables show all the possible truth values for a set of sentences.